Hi, I'm Grant Wagner from Bolensteiner Implement, and today I'm going to be walking you through the setup of turn automation. The first thing you're going to want to do is to make sure you have the correct subscription and compatible displays. You will need a 4600 display with a version 2 processor with the automation 4.0 activation or the 4640 display with the 4.0 subscription activated. This will also work with the most 30 series and newer tractors, um, including the R series tractors as well with the uh, integrated auto track feature. So here we're working with the 4600 display and the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to make sure you have an active boundary loaded. To do that, we can go to the menu, applications, fields and boundaries. And here you can see we have an exterior boundary loaded for this client farm and field that we'll be using. You're also going to want to make sure you have a guidance line selected. In this case, I have already selected a straight track guidance line, and we're also going to want to make sure we turn auto track on. As well as turning auto track on, you're going to make sure you want your iTech on as well. The next thing you want to go to is your turn automation. It's very helpful to have this in your shortcut bar so you can easily access it for uh, turn automation settings. So here you're going to want to turn on automation and the first thing you're going to see here is the status bar and it's saying that it's not ready with an orange indicator. So we, we can click that and now it's going to tell us everything that we need to set up and everything that we've already successfully set up. So we already turned on the turn automation, we turned on our iTech master, but here you can see we need to set up a headland boundary. To do that, we can just select this button here. From here, we're gonna to wanna to set the next headland boundary by going into our exterior and hitting the pencil. We're gonna use a constant offset, which will create a headland boundary all the way around your external boundary. And we're gonna use 60 foot. So here you can see the headland boundary. This headland boundary is what uh, turn automation uses uh, to base its uh, turns off of. It's, it's kind of its baseline. So we can click save. Okay. And we can go back to our status. And you can see we're still not ready. Um, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is set up our headland triggers. We can create new sequence and we're gonna add a step. So this is when we're entering our headland. So to do that, we'll select SCV1 and we'll want it to extend our cylinders to raise the implement. And we'll do that five foot past our headland boundary, which is zero to make sure we've got some overlap and no skips. We can click next, and it's gonna want you to name it, so we'll just name this one entering. Save. You can still see here we got one more to set up, and this one is our exiting trigger. Click new sequence, add step, and we'll use SCV1 again to lower our implement. You can see here there's also many other functions that we can use and add to our sequence, like turning on our diff lock or turning on our four wheel drive. So when we're exiting our headland, we're gonna to wanna to lower the implement by retracting our cylinders. And we're gonna to wanna to do that five feet before our headland boundary to ensure we don't have any skips. So to do it before, we're gonna to wanna to put a negative in and we'll do five foot. We can click okay, next. And it'll make us name that again as well. We'll just name it exit. Save. And now you can see our status indicator is green indicating that uh, we're ready to uh, use turn automation. Some more settings here uh, 
to dial in your turn automation is your your max infield speed also depending on your application you can adjust that accordingly um, you can adjust your uh, turn speed um, right here and then uh, your aggressiveness as well uh, by turning down your aggressiveness it, aggressiveness it's going to make a more gradual turn um, and and increasing your aggressiveness will will make a more um, aggressive tight turn so so now if you navigate back to your map screen you can see that it maps out our turn for us and shows us which way we're going to be turning uh, you can adjust which way you want to turn by clicking this arrow here um, we can go to the right or we can go back to the left and it'll change that for us um, it'll also allow you to do skip passes so if you click the arrow again it'll show here how many um, guidance lines it's going to skip how many passes there um, we can go you can do multiple uh, skips if you'd like if you think the implement turn is going to be too tight um, for this case we're going to we're going to skip two passes on this one Now to actually operate your turn automation, all you have to do is select the gear in your tractor, and hit your auto track your zoom switch, and it will automate the turn for you. Thanks for watching today's video. If you have any further questions on turn automation, please contact your nearest Bodensteiner implement company. Thanks.